Hey guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the workshop. So, I've been set an interesting uh, challenge by one of my mates um, to repair uh, or make a repair piece for an electric scooter, an e-scooter. The piece in question is this tiny little, you won't be able to see it very well, I'll include a little bit of a close-up. It's a, a nylon bush, um, 33 millimetres OD. Um, but the, the tricky thing about it is the wall thickness of the bush is 0.7 millimetres. And he wonders if I can make a replacement piece out of brass. Well, I wonder too. <laughs> so let's give it a go. He's supplied me with a, a scrap of brass that uh, should supply the material that we need. And I've given a bit of thought to how to do it. Um, I'm going to try in the first instance just doing it as a straight machining operation with very light cuts. And hopefully I'll get away with being able to um, machine the really thin wall. That, that really thin section is only uh, five millimetres long. So it's not a, a huge length, but if that doesn't work, then I think I'll have to make up a, an arbor and um, um, mount it so that we get support from the inside. But let's try the easy way first. Okay, so my friend's given me some notes on how it, uh, it's all supposed to work and so on. But essentially this is a bit like a bicycle really. So you've got a, a, a fork, a piece on the top of the forks here, goes up into a head stem and there's a, a ball race one end and a matching one at the other end. And um, so that's the one at the other end. Uh, exactly how it goes, I don't know. But anyway, the, the key piece is that this little nylon doodad, which is, as you can see, completely cactus, would sit in there and presumably act as a, a space to, to take the play out of things. Uh, anyway, so the idea is to, to make, a, make a replacement for that. So we'll start by parting off this bit here that's no use to me, so we can get back to this diameter here. So with that bit out the way, I can get a clearer look at what we've got here. And the bore on the outside of that is uh, oversized already for what I want, so that's not going to work. But going in a bit further, there's a threaded piece. And the ID of the threaded piece is 27. And I'm looking for a finished internal bore of 28.6. So I think I'll try turning that out to 28.6 and uh, see if we can get that. Because if I can't get that diameter there, then this piece is not suitable for the job. We've got most of the thread cut out, so I think that'll work all right. Right, 28.4, so we've got another 0.2 to come out. We're coming at 0.1. See what we've got now. We're shooting for 28.6 and we've currently got 28.56. So I might just try the um, piece. I think we'll take that. Yep, I think that'll be just fine. Yeah, it's a bit tricky measuring the diameter of the shaft because it's just a piece of pipe, it's not been machined. Anyway, that was a good fit, that'll be fine. So now we've got to turn our attention to the OD. So the OD at the moment is uh, sitting on the 38. We want 33, so we'll get it down to close to that all over uh, and then start getting a bit serious. Uh, 
Right, so we're on 37.3 and we want 30. So we'll keep going for a little bit. Okay, well that was a major stuff up. <laughs> Just read my own drawing properly. I should have been going for 33 OD uh, back here. Uh, and they're only down to 30 just uh, with this end piece right since I made a bonehead mistake with the first one I get to do it over again fortunately I found a bit of scrap that I can use well actually it was a right angle fitting that I've hacked up so I can use I try not to make the same mistake again these 3.01 well, those could be close enough Right, and that's that bit. So now I'm going to do this bit down to 30. That's where I went wrong before. I did it all down to 30. Okay, so I've changed the setup because now I want to do this uh, diameter here, and there's a 45 degree um, angled cut there or taper there. So I've got it set up with a so I can use a dial gauge to uh, measure the the infeed of the uh, the parting tool, which I'm going to use here. I was shooting for 30. I guess I got lucky and hit the mark. Okay, now we have to face this off so that this uh, larger diameter is one wide. I don't think that one is critical. By my measurement, we've got about... It's hard, pretty hard to measure. Say two and a half there. So if I take one and a half off, we should be pretty close. Okay, it's going to be pretty damn close. Uh, it's, that's only an approximate, I mean, I'm, it must be somewhere around a millimetre. And I think uh, near enough is going to be good enough for this. So that finishes the outside turning, apart from uh, parting it off, so now we've got to bore it out to the right uh, size. Twenty seven point Right, we're on 28.52, 28.5. So let's try the thing in the hole. Yeah, that'll actually go in there. So I think we'll call that good enough. Okay, so this is the uh, the finished item. So it turned out to be a lot easier to make than I was expecting. Uh, even though this piece is thin, uh, it didn't cause a problem because in fact it's very short. Anyway, so that piece will um, fit in there. 
and um, I've made it so that it's uh, a very snug fit on there. I won't push it on, but that's it's going to be a lovely, uh, just gentle push fit onto that. And uh, hopefully that's all sit out. Okay, well it turned out to be a lot easier to make this thing than I thought it was going to. Nice when that happens. Be even nicer if it was the norm rather than the exception. Anyway, job done. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, but in any case, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.